Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is a VBA tip and today we're looking at how to enable and disable events. If you want to follow along with the tip, you go to ExcelExperts.com and search the site on disable events. You'll get to VBA tips number 13. You can read the text, look at the screenshots and download the spreadsheet example. You can also find other Excel and VBA finance training videos and some free spreadsheets to download. So what do I mean by events? Well, an event is something that is fired when something happens. So I'll demonstrate what that means. If I change my selection, I get a message box saying I've changed my selection. How does that actually work? If I go into my code and I have a look at sheet one code, there's a sub here called worksheet selection change and it just brings up this message box. So whenever I change my selection on worksheet one, I get that message box. So that's quite useful if I want to trap or monitor what my user is doing. And um, that will run whenever I change my selection. But suppose I've got some code and within that code, it changes my selection. If I don't turn off events, and I run this code, F8, 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 it then goes into the worksheet selection change event and brings up that message box, which might not be what I'm after. I might just want to change the selection and not want to show that message box. And then um, goes to exit sub. So there is a way to turn off the events and I would thoroughly recommend constructing code like this. So by means use the events, but when you're running modules or extra code at the beginning, always disable the events and always re-enable them at the end and at all exit points of your code. This can be quite fiddly. Sometimes you'll need a, a cleanup module that, um, sorry, cleanup subroutine that will re-enable events and display alerts and that kind of stuff. So if we run this, we can run it as many times as we like and there's no events run. So this will also run faster because it's not going into the uh, the selection change code. So it run faster, it won't do things that we don't want it to do. So you've been listening to excelexperts.com on how to enable and disable events. Thank you for listening.